Don't be shy. Okay. All right, YouTube, and welcome back to Fern. Uh, see, I did it again. I keep wanting to say Fern Valley Farm. That's my other channel. Welcome back to Private Pilot. This is Nick. We are going to go up today and practice some instrument flight work underneath the hood. That's what these glasses are for. And any of you guys that are new to this, um, you get your private pilot's license and you want to go and get your instrument rating, you got to practice a lot of There's a lot to it. It's too much to explain right here, but you, you do a lot of hood work where you can't, you're not, you don't look out the windshield, you look at the instruments only. So you put these glasses on, there are hoods, there's different ways of doing this. You put these on and you see like kind of like the reader part on the bottom that just allows you to look straight at the instruments you can look out the window but why cheat right you just kill yourself someday don't want to cheat you want to make sure you do this the correct way so we're going to go up nick is going to be my spotter you need a you need another licensed pilot to, to legally be your spotter and log the hours so we're going to practice some hood work and i can do it with him at some point too um, so he'll just, he, what he's going to do is just watch for the aircraft and he's going to tell me turn left, turn right, go up, go down, hold this heading, hold whatever. Um, and he'll just be watching for other traffic and I'll just be looking straight at the instruments. There's a thing, there's something called spatial disorientation, which is really real. Spatial disorientation when you get in the clouds or you, or you can't see the ground and you think you're going straight and level, but you're really turning, but your mind is telling you you're going straight and level. It's really a creepy thing. And when you're practicing with this, it happens and then you try and get yourself out of it or if you have to you just look up and boom as soon as you can see the ground or the, or the horizon you're out of it but if you're really in the clouds and you can't get yourself out of it it might not be a good ending so that's why you practice and you train for this stuff um, I'm working on taking my test hopefully in the spring and going up with a regular you have to go up with an instructor to also get the rest of the training in. but this we're just gonna do for fun just get some hood work in so and hopefully the gopro works this time unlike the last two times so anyway we're gonna go up and in my plane we're gonna go practice this so here we go okay <laughs> okay hopefully you guys can hear me in the gopro here last time did this not this this did not work so got me now yeah yep, all right do you me. use a hobbs time hobbs meter or uh okay yeah, yeah. 41 one uh, cool. wait. Oil pressure, lights is required, have lights on. Let's just head over to the, put the flaps up. Cabin air is on, Mexican air conditioning is on, we're good. So what we could do is uh, after takeoff, once we kind of climb out a little towards Galt, you, um, I could take over and then you could put the hood on if you wanted to. I just got the, yeah, the glasses, yeah. I always like to make sure that this is... Yeah, I would pick up an e-board for your iPad. I have one. Oh. Actually, with this little one, I kind of like it. I need to get a... Sp I did actually got one. I got one that clips on here and goes there. I've used everything. I've tried... Uh, I've got a really nice big one that I bought when I had the bigger iPad. This is actually my smaller one. I traded the big iPad in. What are these kids? We're going to go 12. One, two here. Yeah, I traded the bigger iPad. I had like the nine point something. It was just too big. And then the 152, you're so limited, you know, yeah. on space. Some guy Eric knows has a 182, and he uses the big iPad. So it's nice having it. But one day, everybody uses these minis, and I like the mini. So. This Kinner's out. PT-22 over here. Oh, that? Uh, this. Oh. It's a pretty cool airplane. Sometimes you'll hear them on the radio. So what year is this? 178. 78, okay. Alrighty. Since you got yours going, I'll tell I'm gonna well I'll leave it on for a minute. I wanna make I like to make sure it's working. Yeah. Uh it brakes, fuel's on, trim for takeoff. Uh flight controls. Rudder. <clears throat> I put this rear view mirror into it, it comes in handy. I was out here one day last fall doing touch and goes in one of those planes and we were lined up. I hated to keep turning behind myself. So I'm like, I'm putting a mirror in mine. It's just so nice to be able to just see what's behind you. Oh, yeah. Instruments, okay, 50, 30, 2. Okay, 
drop of the carb heat. Uh, oil pressure, oil temperature, suction gauge. Uh, beacon on oil lights, mixture rich. We're good. Amps bolts. Yep. I always forget, always be paranoid I think I'm going to forget something. <clears throat> I actually, I broke the carb heat on one of the airplanes once. I was doing stalls and I go to pull it and it just, the cable snaps. <laughs> Whoops. It's, yeah, it's stuck. <laughs> I'm like, all right, time to head back. All right. Are we good? You ready? Yeah. This is not lit up all the way right there. I'm not even on. Stratus, no tower, it's telling me. See, look, see what it says that? Yeah. That's what it tells you if you're active. It might once we get going. See, it's not even picking it up. Yeah. So and it'll tell you right in the corner if it's active or not. You'll learn more about this thing the more you use this. You know? You got golf in there. Okay, here we go. Uh, radio check, please. I always do that. Uh, clear. Thank you. All right, this guy, what's he doing up here? Uh, it might be on a downwind or a base leg. Come on, get going. Yeah. Oil, he turns. Papa Grove, Ryan 10, left base, runway 9 full stop. Yep. yep. Yeah, I've never had to do that. Maybe once we get going, it'll do something. Yeah, just the ADS. And actually, it's got it already on there. And if you blow this up, it'll show the traffic then. When oh, you keep yeah. it little, when you keep it little, it goes away. But when you blow it up, it'll show what they are. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you keep it small, it doesn't sometimes show. Where's he at right there? What did he say? That's not us. No, that's the skydivers in Sylvania or wherever that is. Oh. I don't know. Papa Grove traffic, Cessna 787 Foxtrot, Mike's departing one, uh, runway 12 to the east, Papa Grove. <clears throat> so I, gotta put, I have a new clock, too. I'm going to put a new clock in. And my turn coordinator doesn't work. Oh. It used to, and then it would, would, and would, then it just finally just quit. The mechanic told me, he told me how to install it. It's not that tough. All right, here we go. Four. The wind is pretty much calm. Yeah, it's pretty much a headwind. Yeah. Air speed is alive. Instruments are free. Oh, I wanted to do a short field, I forgot. Yeah, if we land at Galt, we could do it. Yeah, that's fine. Lewis. Lewis traffic, strike 360 uniform, now three miles northwest, 2700. With a room for the 45, runway 9 at Lewis. I was watching a really good video, too, last night. I Somebody explained it about VORs, which I knew most of it, but he had a good way of explaining it. I'm like, oh, I never thought of it that way. He's like, when you get done watching this video, you'll understand this thing so easy. And you're pretty much always going away from a VOR. You're always going away. Yeah. So when you want to go to it, you go to the opposite, you know. Yeah, I want to get this fixed. Four turning left, that one for Rowling Niner. We got the traffic on that one in sight. We're we in a minute over. All right, we could, we could do this now if you want. Yeah, I got it. I'm going to take these off. I think I want to go to Ralph Austin. Final for a all right, your control. All right, I'm going to, what heading you want me on? Uh, 
Fly heading 77 degrees. So, wow, am I out of practice? Holy crap. Yeah, so probably, uh, Zero seven it's, zero. Yeah, it's it's good right now. So well, we have no, to, let me just hold it there. That's fine. I'll just go zero seven zero. We have to intercept our course. Two seven where your people one six turning left. Six, I'll go up to three thousand. Yeah, we'll climb up to sure. three thousand level out. Traffic. Oh, well. Two miles to the north of the field. Come up to join the 45. One lane niner, Lewis. Up to go traffic card. No, 3414 is uh, five miles to the north. Uh, inbound downwind, one two. Lewis, Travis Scott, 6180 X ray, uh, crosswind. Up to go traffic, Red Walkers entering the left downwind, zero niner. Force traffic, 6 niner, zero, zero, niner is practically. So yeah, just maintain a 6060 zero, 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 <laughs> right? And then, uh, Way out of practice. We'll intercept the course, I'll tell you when to turn. I was really handy at this at one time. Might want to double check that. Yeah, Morris's uh, runway is closed until the 23rd. Zero departing runway 9. Six final zero nine full stop for this. This is the hardest thing, is make sure you're straight and level. Oh yeah, that's uh... On the way off course, you know, they get back this way. <laughs> Lewis traffic, track 361 in the airport. We have the midfield downwind traffic on runway 9 at site. We're going to be joining about a 2 mile 45 behind you for some runway 9 or Lewis. South Haven traffic, 6520 whiskey, about a mile... That's crazy, that is just crazy. When you think you're straight, you're not. Yeah. Yeah, so let's turn to 060. So right now we're kind of flying parallel, but we want to intercept. 20 has one leaving uniform today as well. So traffic card no 34104 is on the downwind, 1 2, pump throw. Left turn. <laughs> Come on, get over here. Yeah. David Traffic. Doing, doing good. Cherokee, Cherokee, Zero Whiskey, Crossing Midfield, entering a left downwind for runway 32, South Haven. Lewis Traffic, 361, the Mino Forearm is joining the left downwind, runway 9, looks like we're number 2 in the downwind, Lewis. <laughs> Alright, let's fly heading 080. Zero eight zero one six one four. I'm final rolling niner. Student pass all Lewis. Lewis FBO. Lewis FBO. Citation one one six six five. Lewis Travis Scott six one eight zero. X ray base for rolling niner. Lewis. Come here. Eight. I would say probably just level out uh -huh. about here. Level out about here should be good. Yeah, I'm trying. It's funny, if I want to stay at 3,000, I can nail 3,100, no problem. Yeah. Right. Never failed. South Asian traffic, Cherokee 6520, Whiskey, entering the left downwind for runway 32. South Asian traffic. Did you say east or seven zero? Uh, zero eight zero. Traffic and pop and go traffic. Cardinal three four one. So on the left base. Yeah, about here. You might need to realign your heading indicator. Uh, let me get back down to my altitude here. Oh, we'll be in down for visual runway four. Lewis Traffic, Skyhawk 361 Lima Uniform is base of runway 9, Lewis Traffic.
Come on, now. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, so oh. yeah, let's probably, uh, let's turn left, heading 070. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of drifting right of our course. You kind of stay right on the line? Uh, yeah. So, just let's go uh, left. I always, zero uh, seven zero. I always fly to the to the right of it or left of it. We'll be, uh, Wherever I'm going, you know. I'm trying to get back down to my altitude. Right. Well, Lewis traffic, sky the altitude's fine. Right no, now. I want to nail. I, I know, but I like to. When you're doing your check ride, that ain't fine. Yeah. <laughs> so. We, if we fly our current heading, we'll be maybe seven miles south. So, we just try and intercept that course again. We if you could try a descending turn. A small descent, and then just a standard rate left turn back to uh, zero seven zero. So do you want me to go down or go back to 3,000? We could go back to 3,000. Well, that's what I'm trying to do, yeah. So, and then just do a standard rate turn back to zero six zero. Oh, yeah. This is good. Oh, my turn coordinator isn't working. So yeah, a little loud. Charlie is 11 miles to the southeast. Going to maneuver for a downwind entry on a 45 for runway 9 or Lewis. Yeah, looking good. Now I'm saying, yeah. Maybe what you can also try doing is uh, leveling off and then trying to trim out. That might help you a little bit. Trying to do what? Trying to trim out. Oh, that's what I'm doing, yeah. At RPM. If you keep this vertical speed right below zero at like 100, It'll almost keep you level, or keep you at your altitude. So yeah, we'll just start turning on course back to uh, zero eight zero. Time too, so I'm not over shooting it. Yeah, this is good. Okay. Turn the autopilot on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There, now I'm at 3,000. I'm on course. Just gotta get the feel for it again. When was the last time you'd. Uh... Left downwind, 0 9 Force traffic, 6 9 0 0 9 So, yeah, just maintain a 6 0 6 0. I know, right? And then, uh, Way out of practice. We'll intercept the course, I'll tell you when to turn. I was really handy at this at one time. Yeah, Morris's uh, runway is closed until the 23rd. Zero departing runway zero. Six final zero nine full This is the hardest thing is make sure you're straight and level. Oh yeah. It's uh all the way off course when they get back this way. Lewis traffic, track 361 in the uniform. We have the midfield downwind traffic on runway 9 at the site. We're going to be joining about a 2 mile 45 behind you for some runway 9 or Lewis. South Haven traffic, 6520 with you, about a mile. That's crazy. That is just crazy. When you think you're straight, you're not. Yeah. Yeah, so let's turn to 060. So right now we're kind of flying parallel, but we want to intercept. Turning final, runway 9. 2003 has Lindley Wing uniform as well. Go so traffic card, no 34, 104 is on the downwind, uh, one, two, pump stroke. Left turn. <laughs> Come on, get over here. Yeah. Uh, David traffic. Doing good. Whiskey crossing midfield, entering a left downwind for runway 32, South Haven. Lewis traffic, 361, the uniform. 
I would say probably just level out uh -huh. about here. Level out about here, it should be good. Yeah, I'm trying. It's funny, if I want to stay at 3,000, I can nail 3,100, no problem. Yeah. Right. Never failed. South Asian traffic, Cherokee 6520, whiskey entering the left downwind for runway 32. South Asian traffic. Did you say east or seven zero? Uh, zero eight zero. Traffic and Papa Joe traffic. Cardinal three four one. So on the left base. Yeah, about here. You might need to realign your heading indicator. Uh, let me get back down to my altitude here. Wild four is final one two full stop. Oh, come on! Now. Yeah, it's uh. Uh, so yeah, let's probably, uh, let's turn left, heading 070, and uh, yeah, it's kind of drifting right of our course. Are you trying to stay right on the line? Uh, yeah, so just let's go uh, left, I always, 070. Uh, I always fly to the, to the right of it or left of it. We'll be, uh, wherever I'm going, you know. I'm trying to get back down to my altitude. Right. Well, Lewis traffic, sky the altitude's fine. Right you know, now, I want to nail. I, I know, but I like to. Traffic. When you're doing your check ride, that ain't fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, we, if we fly our current heading, we'll be maybe seven miles south. So, we'll just try and intercept that course again. We could try a. Uh, Descending turn, small descent, and then just a standard rate left turn back to uh, zero seven zero. Do you, you want me to go down or go back to three thousand? We could go back to three thousand. Well, that's what I'm trying to do, yeah. So, and then just do a standard rate turn back to zero six zero. Oh yeah, this is good. So oh, my turn coordinator isn't working. So yeah, a lot of Charlie is 11 miles to the southeast. Going to maneuver for a downwind entry on a 45 for runway nine or Lewis. If you keep this vertical speed right below zero at like one. 100, it'll almost keep you level, or keep you at your altitude. So yeah, we'll just start turning on course back to uh, 080. Too, so I'm not over shooting it. Yeah, this is good. Okay. Turn the autopilot on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There, now at 3,000, I'm on course. Just got to get the feel for it again. When was the last time you uh, did hood work? Uh, with Emmett. Did you ever make it? No, Emmett? I met him once. Yeah. Uh, probably back in the spring. I had to get rechecked out when my engine was down. I had to get rechecked out with them. So instead of just going up and doing three takeoffs and landings, I'm like, let's just do some of this. Right. Yeah, go right ahead. Hey. So we come up with this head work, and I was all over the place. But it was kind of cool. He brought me he brought me straight in for one, two. That was kind of neat. Cool. He had it all set up. He brought me straight in. Oh, yeah. I never flew with him, but uh, he was pretty... He was, he, he was a guy, you know what I mean? He was he wasn't all business. He was I mean he was he was all business, but he was a guy. Right. Cost and swore and it was it was good. I like that. He was just he was just real, you know what I mean? Upwind if you wanted to land, I don't know. It's up to you. Six zero seven space uh eight would like to land. We're wrong are we gonna land or I don't hear if it. you wanna land. Yeah, let's land, what the hell? Alright, so I'd use a uh, niner today. So zero nine? Oh, we gonna yeah. land nine? Yeah, land niner. 
So what do you want me to do? Kind of get me set up and then I'll, I'll pull the hood off. And okay. We'll just get me, uh, get me in a downwind. We'll get me, have me while I'm ready to enter the 45. Okay, so yeah, turn left, uh, heading zero, zero, just heading zero, north. Uh -oh. And then start a descent. So there's traffic one night. When I get the north, uh, uh, start descending now. South to north and maneuver for a downwind entry 45, runway 9 or Lewis. And we'll just kind of fly out north a little bit. One more, I'm left down runway 9 or Pinot Pinto, Lewis. Your, your button works if you want to call it and tell people what we're doing. Alright. Uh, we're probably how far out are we? Four miles. Oh, I call them. All right. That's what I do, anyways. Is it seven eight seven Fox Trot, Mike? Go. Oh. Traffic. Uh, Cessna seven eight seven Fox Trot, Mike. Four miles to the west. We'll be maneuvering for a forty five left downwind niner. Part of traffic seven five seven seven zero. R nav zero seven. Practice approach. Seven miles out. Can you see the airport? Yeah, it's right off to our uh, right. I'll get down so to 2500 and pull the hood. Yep. I'll tell you when to turn east. That's it. Alright. Uh, right turn heading 0 9 or 0. There's nobody there out here, anybody. No. The only ones. Five zero, about five miles west. I'll do the new ring for 40. Yeah, when I came in here that day, I'm like, oh shit, this is a short runway. Yeah, it's uh, 2,800 2, feet. Yeah. I didn't even bother looking. I just. See how long it really was? You know, I, I, I could tell, obviously. Should I keep going down? Uh, yeah. Keep descending. And then just. Oh, left down with that. Oh, tell you what. Well, um, yeah. Let's, uh, yeah, let's roll out on 080. Fly this heading. Because you're not insured to fly this. Yeah. That's the problem. You gotta, you gotta have the people, you gotta put them on the insurance. And... Yeah, we could do that sometime. Yeah. And I can sit over there and just watch. Pretty, pretty much. <laughs> it's nice once in a while just to fly or just to look out the window. All right. Um, I'd say pull the glasses. Uh, where are we at? Over there. Oh. So. <laughs> Yeah, you could probably start maneuvering. So, we're going to go, so we'll be in the left hand downwind. Yeah. I'll just come around. We could probably do a right, well, I don't know. Where are we going? We're landing on nine. Yeah. Oh, right. oh never mind. We're going to turn, okay, I'm all turned around. I'm confused. Never mind, you're right. I'm going to turn, okay, no one's, no one's here, right? No one's here. You could, uh, you probably Oh, there enter. it is. Okay, I see it. I was getting I was getting better towards the end there. I don't yeah. What's that? Uh, examiner. Oh, when you took your test? Yeah. Gold traffic. You're good. Gold traffic, test of 787 Fox Cop. Mike entering the left downwind for 09 out of 45 Gold. I gotta turn this up. That's the problem here. Okay. Gold traffic, uh, many, uh, 572, 572. Just use 1800. Yeah. yeah. And I'll plan on entering a uh, left field, uh, uh, mid, a left downwind for only nine gulp. I'll probably pull the power back yeah. a little bit. We're uh, returning base for runway nine or short approach, fluid. Turning shot, commander 2000, turn left face eight, land. Freeport, Alberta, six, experimental jet, two, three, golf, six, six, three, uh, simulated claim out of 4,000 for runway six, six, three, four. Lewis traffic, 197 Mike Charlie, a short final, runway 9 or short approach, Lewis. We have a displaced threshold on 9 or? Top is yeah. 20 miles, 2 0 miles to the west, cleaner ain't got right base to runway. Yeah, nine. they do. 
Call traffic, 77 Fox Shot Mike, turning left face, 109. Uh, Call. Call that traffic, 775. You're on it. I'm all goofed up for being underneath the hood. I'm like, oh, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> that, always, that always happens. It's funny how you pull it off and you're all like, oh, a little lower than I'm supposed to be here. Oh, yeah. I'll be all right. Greenville traffic, sure, 345 Romeo, about 10 to the west, going to enter a left downwind, 28 Greenville. Control traffic, 787 Fox Shot Mike, face the final goal. Pablo traffic, 769. 69 we have uh, the Cup in sight, Papa Grove. As I overshoot it. Papa Grove traffic, 769 yeah, part 2. Final one, two, Papa Girl. Probably pull the pull the power. Yeah. Papa traffic seven seven five zero. Hot downwind four. Five. Oh, we are a little high. Yeah, uh, a little we'll high. get down. <laughs> we just drop like a rock. You could do a short field landing with the full flaps. Yeah, hold on here. Let me get. Try a forward, forward slip, maybe. I have no one of them in years. So we're just going to do this normal here. Turn in left base, uh, runway 9, full step, go. Holy birds. That one's bad. <laughs> I haven't done slips. <clears throat> I need that stuff like forever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, so here you got to tell you, you can taxi back. Down to the end, you back taxi. Left car V trims it for takeoff, lights are on. Go traffic mini two five two on final runway nine, go. This is why I can't wait to get back to doing pattern work again. Because I guess a lot of practice. Oh, yeah. Since you got yours going, just shut this for right now. So let's let's do a short field. So pull up to the very end of the displays threshold. All right. Line up. Set the brakes, full power, 10 degrees of flaps, and hit it. Are you going to try and teach? <laughs> yeah, next year, during my uh, senior year, I'll be an uh, instructor. So, it'll give me something to do. So what do you got to do to work towards that? You got to do it out here? Um, I'm thinking of getting my commercial and CFI. Oh uh, yeah, getting my commercial out in South Dakota, my CFI in uh, Minnesota. Oh, why there? Um, accelerated program, so I can oh. get it done in a couple weeks. Oh, we gotta go up here. Or you just pull up here. Give me a way to flame out. So technically, can you take off before the display? Yeah, you could take off on the display threshold. All right, you just can't go. land. So, yeah, just kind of line Oop, up. Hold on. I'm looking at the wrong line. Up. I'm looking at this line over here. Get over here. All right. And just hit the line up here. Yes. Brakes. Oop. Ready? Brakes full power. Hit it. And it nose down. Yeah, just slightly tail low. Huh? Slightly tail low. Right. And then... 50 knots, rotated off, and ground effect. Kind of like that. Level nose attitude. Build up some airspeed. Climb out at a VUI. Flaps up. Because when you graduate, you're going to go to one of those schools. Uh, no. I'm 
Pennsylvania, I'm thinking of doing an uh, online college and then I'll fly freight probably in Florida or Hawaii or No, but I mean this, what you're talking about, like oh, the yeah. infrastructure and all that. Yeah, uh, probably Poplar Grove. I might, I don't know, I might try and get my multi-engine instructor and then pop into uh, Joliet, do some MEI stuff down there because that's what I really need. With MEI? Multi engine. Oh, multi, right, yeah. You could just kind of go out to the north and maneuver around if you want to start that again. Yeah, we could do a little bit more. Okay. I got it. Grab that camera, too. I want you to record just a little bit of this. Okay. There, you got it. And then just hit the. Uh, RV eight one five. I just hit the red button. Down for only zero eight right, Slovenia. All right, already. What am I doing? I'll go six. I'll stay on this heading for right now. Fly heading zero. Five thousand feet. Speed over. Fly heading zero. Simulated flame out. Runway three six. Oh north. North. Want me to record? Yeah. Okay. Just show me doing it and show the instruments and. You don't got to do it forever, but... Once we level out at 2,500, just check your head indicator. Might have uh, wandered a bit. All those uh, traffic, yeah. Uh, Fair procession. Departed runway 24. We got a count to cast and uh, we're climbing above you at this time. Papa Grove traffic, November 6, 9, 0, 4, 2, on to our final 1, 2, Papa Grove. Yeah, I don't want to do a lot of, like, chopping the power type stuff. Yeah. They don't so want you doing that. We'll just, uh, we'll stay at 2,500. Yeah, I'm just going to come down slow, that's all. I was hoping once I got past the 10 hours after the oil change, I could do more of this stuff, and they're like, do at least another 25. The better you break it in, the better. Yeah. That's the uh, Pawnee. Our tow plane had to uh, had to get an engine overhaul last winter, and they were breaking it in over the Four? winter. Huh? Who? The Pawnee. Or it's Glider Club. So the oh. tow plane. Yeah. I'm hoping to get in that by April. So that'll be uh, pretty fun. Old crop tester. Traffic. Red Waco is entering a left downwind 09. Have the cub I'm holding my head, my heading better. Yeah, and it's heading good. I'm holding it a little better. I keep wanting to turn, just like part. It could be the wind. But uh, yeah, I usually or it's me. happens to me. Or it's me. You feel like you're flying straight, but you're not. Right. Exactly. Pop the Grove traffic, Red Walkers, turning final zero nine. All right, 
second. Well, I lost my crooked heading. Damn it. Oh, uh, it's fine. Fly heading 270. Maybe uh, 280, actually. We'll fly heading 280. The trim on this, the, the trim on this plane is so touchy. I mean, you barely move it. And it does what it's supposed to. It's like those guys who fly the uh, Beach 18s, they're just constantly like... So. Yeah, we'll fly heading. Uh, Swinging into the center, we'll we'll start turning left a little bit. So right now, I got, if I wanted to turn to it, I have to turn right, right? Yeah, but, uh, but we're gonna intercept it. Bravo, about six miles south. Inbound for landing runway three one west end. We'll join uh, left traffic for three one west end. So we are. We are from it. This, this one doesn't say to and from. No. You got the arrow down. Yeah. So it's starting to to turn in, so we'll just kind of start turning left a little bit. So a little increments, you know, 10, 20 degrees. So we should wind up on the 110, right? Yeah. One, and then once we intercept the radial, we'll fly heading of 110. We can head back if you want. Right. So I'm just saying, once you do this for like an hour or whatever, um, it starts to get to it, you. It, 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 well, you. Well, no, not even there. You start to get the hang of it. You start feeling what your airplane does. Yeah. I mean, normally I would chop the power with it to come down to down, but I don't want to keep doing that, so I'm just going to do this. It's fine. All right, where are we at here? Should be uh, three over here. Over somewhere. here, yeah. I'm about to do that or downwind for one, two. Three to south. South. That's right there. Where do you want me to put oh. this? Yeah. What is it? Oh, it's back there. I see Candlewick, I don't see the airport. Uh, it's right here. Oh, there it is. Yep, I got it. Oh. How far out are we? What did you say? Three miles. Three miles or so. Top of Grove traffic, that's the 787 Fox Shop Mike. is about three miles to the east and enter the left. John went for one, two, and a 45, top of the road. So we did a uh, .8 instrument. Huh? .8 instrument. 42 minutes. What? .8 instrument. Following this thing, like the first time I went to Janesville on that, I'm like, oh shit, there's the airport right there. Yep, yep, yep. Papa Grove, Rocky 527, Courtney now leaving Petrin from left downwind 1 2, left call Papa Grove. He's doing what? Left. Yeah, I think he's going 1 2. Oh, he's departed. Yeah. Trying right, to give another call out here, my uh, uh, traffic over to 3 northeast. That's fun. Do you know what time is sunset? Huh? What time is sunset? Like seven? I'm not sure. I think it is. Top of Grove traffic, seven o'clock shot, Mike turning final. One, two, Top of Grove. Oh, is that the Jenny?
coming in high. Damn it. So let's try a forward slip. I don't know how to do that. Or it's been like forever since I've done uh, it. Left wing down, right rudder. I'll just bring yourself down. Yep. Grove traffic, blanket 99 Bravo is about 3 east for left traffic. 1 2, Papa Grove. Yeah. Oh, the ultra lights. Self traffic, left right field, final left wing. Yeah, I'd kill the engine. Uh huh? Uh, pop up traffic RV, turning base for 1 2. Papa Grove traffic, uh, ultralight, 1 3 2, Papa Whiskey, departing runway 9. -er. When they're your own brakes, you take care of them. <laughs> yeah. If they're the school planes, uh, whatever. When they're your own brakes, like now we'll go to the end of the runway. Yeah. Yeah, Blake at 99 Bravo, turning left uh, downwind for 1 2. And the carriers. <laughs> I so need practice at the pattern and stuff, and I can't, you know, just landing once in I just, where did I land the other day? It was really slow, it was like perfect. I'm like, oh, nice. Yeah, pop it up, traffic, RV turning final. I uh, landed on the grass Saturday. That was soft. I like, see, I like grass a lot. Depends when you're flying, I guess. Pop it up, traffic, box drop, Mike clear, 1 2, pop it up. Traffic, I'll fly 132 Papa Whiskey, coming back. Yeah, when you have your own brakes, you take care of them. <laughs> yeah, because you got to pay for parts. Right.